I have been looking forward to that all day long. <laughs> How was work? Well, work was hectic, but I'm home sweet home now, so let's see what you're doing here. Whoa! Mara, you are a whiz at math. When I was your age, I had problems with multiplications. Math is easy. Yeah, well, your father's good at math, too. That's where you get it from. He's good at everything. <laughs> he sure is. And he's handsome, and he's charming. And by the way, where is he, upstairs? In the attic. I have a book report due, and there's a bunch of old books packed away up there. So um, he went to see if he could find a mystery for me. Uh, Mara, um, there's been something that I've wanted to ask you. It's uh, about your mama. Life's a beach. I would definitely agree with that. Zane Gray, I don't think that's going to do it. Secret Garden. This book belongs to Riva Shea. I'm not in a mood, man. What kind of mood do you have to be in to talk about Dinah? It's been a long day. I'm not tired. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I don't think you get it, Hart. I'm not going anywhere. Not until you tell me what's going on with Roger and Dinah. Oh, it feels so good to be in your arms. It's right where you belong. Hmm. So, how was your day? Hmm? How are you feeling? Have you thought much about what we discussed? If you mean your suggestion that I see a psychiatrist, there's no need. I'm fine. Oh. Well, at least you're certain about it. That's a big improvement. Over what? Well, I just mean you've been so vague about everything lately. Uh, well, that's over now. <laughs> well, that's good, honey. You're back to the old decisive you. It's a good sign. I, I get it. Okay. Yes. Package for you, Mr. Thorpe. I know you from somewhere, don't I? Who is it, darling? Main Street Antiques. Ah. All right. Well, be careful with it. It's fragile. What is it? Well, you should know. You ordered it from us. No, I didn't. I didn't order anything from you. Does Vanessa know how interested you are in every single move that Dinah makes lately? Watch your mouth. You came over here, you got in my face, all right? What I do and who I do it with is my business. She you was understand? screaming when I got to their apartment last night. Who, Dinah? Roger had her scared. I mean, really scared. What's going on? If I hadn't shown up when I did, who knows what he would have done to her. Tip the man, Roger. He's waiting. What's going on? Tell me now. Roger Thorpe. Penthouse. That's you, and this is a penthouse, yes, right? Yes, 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 but I don't know anything about this. Okay, I will take care of this. My husband has just been so busy lately, it's hard for him to uh, keep up. 
keep track of things. Thank you. question. No, but it's a strange one. Either you did or you didn't. The guy said that you ordered it. I know, Roger. I know, I know what he said. Did you buy it? Okay, fine. If you want me to say I bought it, I will. Honey, huh, why don't you sit down and relax? Stop treating me like a lunatic. What about my mom? Uh, well... You remember when she said that she would fix things, you know, with you and me and your daddy and Shane so we could stay together? You remember that? Uh-huh. I wasn't supposed to say anything to Honey, you. I told you, I told you. I think your mama was basically talking about your father, so it's okay that you told me. I hope so. I don't want her to think I broke our promise. I won't say anything. So when she, when she said that, um, you know, about fixing things, how, how do you think she, she felt then? She... What? What, honey? She cried. Oh, I see. Mama says we cry sometimes when we're happy. Yeah, that's right. That's right, people do. I don't think she was happy. Do you think she was sad about you or about your daddy? I think it was both. One good thing, I don't think she's mad at Daddy anymore. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted? It's what Daddy said, that we have to let the bad feelings go. Yes, darling. Somehow we do. Doran's seventh grade English class, Sweet Talking Fisherman by Reva Shane. My pop loves to fish. He's the best fisherman in the world. I know this because when we go to the lake, there's this special spot where all the good fishermen go, but pop always catches more than anybody else. Sometimes he'll be the only one to catch a fish. The rest go home empty handed, but not my pop. He always has at least one bass. I asked him how he does it, and he says it's because he sweet talks the fish. I want to believe him. <laughs> but Mama says, no, it's just the way he ties those fancy lures and flies all over her kitchen table. She never lets him hear the end of that. Mama might be partly right, though. Sometimes I think Pop talks to the fish just to put me on. He says the weirdest things to them, but he sure is a good talker. Mama says he could sell snow to an Eskimo. And that's why he still ties those lures on the kitchen table instead of out in the garage where Mama says they belong. Because when he talks to her about fishing, it's like she's the only person in the world. He sweet talks her, just like he sweet talks the fish. So Mama keeps letting him do the lures in the kitchen, and I don't blame her. Pop makes everything seem so special, even fishing. Like it's something you can't miss. I hope someday I can be a sweet talking fisherman just like him. The end. Josh? 
are you doing? Okay, I picked up a lot of swatches to redecorate company. Great. Woo something big's really happening here. Oh, you know, what's that? Really, really big. Well, it's about Hart, actually. He has done something so wonderful. Oh, really? What's that? Yeah, well, um, you know that inheritance money that Henry gave him and everything? He's decided that he wants to put it to good use, and he wants to give me a check every month to help out with Peter. Child support. Oh, that's great. I mean, I'm yeah. glad you're happy about it, but he is Peter's father, and I mean, he should want to help. Y yeah, but this is even better, I mean, because he's not going to fight for custody or anything. He just wants to be a part of Peter's life and be responsible. That's, that's a big change. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm, you know, finally starting to feel good about myself, and it's, um, it's pretty neat, you know? That's great. Yeah, that's great. I, I felt like I was out of control in my life for a long time there, and now I'm starting to feel like I'm more in control. And... Yeah, yeah, it's good to have control of your life. Yeah, it is. I bet Grandma B used to say that all the time, huh? Yeah, she did. <laughs> you know, you know, you're right. You're right. This is, uh, this is terrific. This is, this is really terrific. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. This is really a great idea about re redecorating company, you yeah. know? I mean, really is. Yeah, we're going to have fun. Yeah, we're yeah. going to have fun. We're yeah. going to have a lot of fun. Here, let me see this. Wasn't see it your idea to redecorate company? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I got it. Oh, and I got the mail, too. Oh, oh is there anything for me? Hmm. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is for me. Oh, oh here's some. Color. Newport Beach. Go ahead. Oh, well, open it. It might be good news. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a good sign, you know? Hart giving me money and Kit writing you a letter. Oh, my. Tell me what you saw, Mad. Did Roger hurt her? I mean, did you talk to her? She told me to mind my own business, and I was going to screw everything up. She said she had everything under control, but she didn't. So she wasn't hurt, then? She said she wasn't, but I don't think she would have told me even if she was. That's why I'm here. I want some answers from you. I wish I could help you. You can, and you will. Now, what do you and Dinah have planned? Roger is no one to mess with. You know what it looks like to me is you're just hanging Dinah out to dry here. Do you think I care what it looks like to you? Well, you better care because Dinah's in trouble. She told me she had everything under control, that everything was going nice Forget and about smooth. what she said. She lied to you. Now, look, I don't give a damn if this whole thing blows up in your face or not, but I want Dinah out of it now. Why didn't she just get out of there then, huh? Maybe Roger wouldn't let her. Why didn't she tell me this? Damn, man, she could have been hurt. That's what I've been trying to tell you. No, I told her not to take any chances, to be cautious. And what did she do? She almost gets herself nailed. Thank God you showed up. Well, I'll be damned. You do care about Diana, don't you? Your hands are on me again. Get them off. I won't stand I for this anymore, want Roger. A straight answer. Why won't you admit that you bought it? Because I didn't. Roger, you're confusing me. I don't know how to deal with you anymore lately. I just said that I bought the thing so that it would keep you on an even don't deal. Patronize me. Uh, that's the last thing I want to do. You're, you're, lately, you've got this. I don't know, this this thing, like you're trying to manage me. Roger, I'm just trying to keep you calm. Look, I don't know who or where it came from. Maybe somebody else sent it he to you. He said that I ordered okay, it. Okay, so obviously he's wrong. Don't you think we're making too much out of this? See, now this. This is the reason why I've been so careful with you lately, Roger. You, Your temper is awful these days. You know that? And you're just... Edgy all the Be time. Be quiet and let me think. See, this is what I mean. do this to me. Honey, you're scaring me. What is going on? It, uh, it's a mask, that's all. Roger, why would it upset you this much? Because... What? What's the matter?
Yeah, I like the number of Main Street antiques, please. <sighs> yeah, uh, hi, is this uh, Mr. Florin, the owner? It is. Roger Thorpe here. Oh, yes, Mr. Thorpe, you got the mask. Superb, I rushed Yes, uh, who, who, who bought it? Uh, uh, who sent it to me, do you remember? I don't understand. It was you, sir. No, I mean, I want the name of the person who sent it. I'm sorry, Mr. Thorpe. You ordered the mask yourself. I did not. I... Uh, you purchased it over the phone. No. Oh, I took the order myself. You're mistaken. Not I, Mr. Thorpe. Heavens no. You've been a valued customer a good many years. You're saying that I telephoned you? I could never mistake your voice. It's wonderfully distinctive. Think. Think, Mr. Farn. Please think. I am, Mr. Thorpe. Don't you remember coming into the shop a short while back yes. and asking about the mask? Yes, 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 but I didn't order it. I'm afraid you're in error, Mr. Thorpe. You did. Indeed, I could... What does he have to say for himself? Well, he doesn't say anything. I mean, it's not a letter. I mean, not really. I mean, it's not even from him. It's, it's a document. Document? Yeah, from his lawyers, Bannon, Clark, Charney, and, and Prestipino. <laughs> I don't need, I don't know why he needs so many lawyers to divorce me. Divorce? Yeah, it says right here in the small print, the large print, the capital letters. Oh, Nola, I am so sorry. No, no, no. I, I, I knew it was coming. Yeah, but it stinks. Well, I, come on, Bridget. I was the one who wanted the divorce. Yeah, but to want it and to get it are two different things. Yeah, but it's the same result. But is it the result that you want? Yeah, I, I mean, it was. I, I wanted to clear my life out, cut everything off, just break it up, you know, and then he showed up. And it made you rethink everything? Well, I thought maybe just for a moment there was a chance, but not anymore. Okay. Come on, I'm mean, going to need to talk about this. No, 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 no way. No, no, I, no, really, I'm no, okay. I want to help you or something. I love I'm you. fine. I'm fine. Really, I am. I love you, too. Let's get going here. I want to get these swatches to, you know, come on, we'll redecorate, we'll re-coordinate. Are you we'll sure? Do, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Can Dennis Rodman snag a rebound? Yeah, but I'm serious, Nola. You know, I don't think I want to be serious right now. I don't... So, Mara told me about a book report, and we were afraid that we lost you up here. No, no, I'm just uh, going through some things mm. here. Um, you know, take me back to when I was about 13 years old. Oh, the good old days, Yeah, huh? some were, some were, yeah. Tell me what you were like as a teenager. Well, uh, let's see, as a teenager, I was uh, pretty much uh, oil fields and football. That just about sums it up. <laughs> I bet you were a wonderful football player. Actually, no, I got beat up pretty good. I, uh, my head was was into it you know my head liked being there but my body got uh, torn apart mm -hmm. see i, I uh, uh separated my shoulder twice uh, three broken ribs Ow. Uh, a dislocated jaw that oh you that really did get beaten and, and then it finally ended when i uh when i went up field took a turn and left my ankle behind josh no and, and broke that in three places oh. <laughs> i was on crutches for a very long time <laughs> well i hope you're romantic um, life was better than your athletic career. Um, yeah, my romantic life. Uh, I, I had a, uh, secret love, as a matter of fact. Very secret. In fact, it was so secret I couldn't even tell my daddy about it. Oh. I guess that William was Shakespeare. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wild Bill Shakespeare. <laughs> I used to think he, he only wrote gooey stuff, you know. Uh, uh, Wherefore out the Romeo and uh, um, uh, uh, stuff like that. And um, and then I had this English teacher. 
named Mr. Hanson in the seventh grade, great guy. And he turned me on to um, Henry Four and the character of Hotspur, whose name was Henry Percy. He was the, the son of the Earl of Northumberland, I think. And, uh, and he was like his name, you know, he was very hot-tempered, mm -hmm. uh, but brave. You know, he would fight uh, anyone, no matter what the odds were. And he was loyal and honorable. In fact, he used to say that he wanted to uh, pluck bright honor from the pale-faced moon. Mm. What happened to him? <laughs> Well, unfortunately, he went to war for the crown of England with the man who would become Henry V, and uh, he lost pretty good, mm. got beat up. Uh, it was, uh, Harry, thou hast stolen my youth from me, or something. I don't, I don't remember how the verse went exactly. Mm. How tragic. It was good stuff, though. Yeah. It was very good. Great, as a matter of fact. Mm. Mr. Hansen helped me to love literature through William Shakespeare, and, and uh, I'm hoping that Mara will love reading, too. That's why I'm going through these books for. Mara and I were just talking about her mother. Was she upset? No, not really. She said that Riva is sad. She said that? In so many words, yeah. I wonder where she got that from. Does it surprise you? Well, I'm just thinking that the last time I saw Reba, she didn't seem sad. She seemed uh, happy, as a matter of fact. You know, she and, I guess it was, um, She and Buzz doesn't... seemed to be doing very well. In fact, they're off somewhere on some mysterious uh, trip celebrating Alan Michael Spaulding uh, and uh, yeah. Lucy Cooper's yeah, I know. wedding. I, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm sure she's uh, having a great time. You know, she parties better than anybody I've ever known. I didn't know that. Yeah. You put uh, two people in the same room and Reva Shane and any excuse whatsoever and there's... There's a party. She's been like that ever since we were kids. You know, no, for a long time. Yes, I have. And I don't think uh, Mara has anything to worry about. I think Reva's doing just fine. Good. So what else do you have in these boxes? Um, don't do that, please. What don't you want me to nothing, see, huh? Nothing, nothing. Old photographs just, of you with your hair like no, Danny Parcher? Just, just no photographs. Let me see, would it's you just please? stuff. It's just, oh, come it's on, Josh. Seriously. It's just stuff, personal, that's all. Here, I'll show you one thing, okay? This is very cool. Mm. I wouldn't show this to just anybody. What is it? Well... Not only was I into blood and swords and dead bodies and stuff like that, I also was very much into poetry in those days. I like to read it, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. I'm a little rusty, so... <clears throat> so go easy on me, okay? <clears throat> <laughs> Doubt that the stars are fire. Doubt that the sun doth move. Doubt truth to be a liar, but never doubt my love. It wasn't that bad, was it? You look like you're going to throw up or something. It's beautiful. Oh, good. Thank you. So are you. is going to wonder what happened to us. Uh, what stars. about her books? I have found for her the secret garden. I think she'll love it. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just... I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll race you down. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right down, okay, sweetie? Tell Mara to brush your teeth.
You'll never get off my back, William Reardon, huh? Ever since the day you found out I was Roger Thorpe's son, you've been thinking I'm the devil himself. You know, and you were so convinced that I was going to mess things up with Vanessa and your sister. Oh, and now Dinah, too. What's with you, Reardon? Now, what's, what's the deal with this white knight complex, huh? Are you finished? And you know what? I'm getting sick of it, okay? Don't you have anything better to do with your time? Why don't you take up stamp collecting, huh? You know, I thought I had you pegged when I first met you, but I'm beginning to think that maybe you're okay after all. Why do you even waste your time thinking about me? Good question. Why don't you go look in the mirror, Reardon? Because you're not so perfect yourself. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Roger could have hurt Dinah. You know he's capable of it because he doesn't give a damn about her. You know that. Don't you tell me what I know or what I don't know. Look, is, 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 is getting back at your father or whatever the hell it is that you're doing that important? Important enough to see Dinah get hurt? Man, you were really jumping to conclusions. You know, you're just reaching, Matt. You know, if you care about her so much, why isn't she here with you instead of with him? Why aren't you protecting her? Why don't you get her to stop? I would if I could. You know it. It's a symbol of it, don't you? What's that? It's the door, honey. Just stay here. Let me get it. Yes? Got something here for Mr. Thorpe? Oh, thanks. All right, just need a signature? Sure. I appreciate it. Have a good day. You too. Got a package here, Roger. What? Another delivery. Did you order this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. What is it? Um, <coughs> uh, antihistamine, you know. Allergy season approaching. I ordered it from the pharmacy. You know, I have just... I have never seen anything like this. It's very unusual. So, what is it a symbol for? You never said. Insanity. Yes, isn't it? How old do you think this thing is? Um, this is the face of the deranged, and it's as old as recorded time. I don't like the sound of that. No? No. Get rid of it. It's an ancient symbol. Well, so what? I'll throw it out. It's a work of art now that it's here. I don't care. It gives me the creeps. It doesn't give you the creeps? I, I don't think you really want it around either. Maybe it's right that it's come. Maybe it's a sign. Of what? You've asked me about my days in the agency, and I've been reluctant to talk about them because some truly horrible things happened during those years. Yeah, I know. One of them happened to a friend of mine, a close friend. The enemy, <laughs> at that time, had this drug that they used on prisoners uh, whom they felt had information that they needed. They caught my friend, thought he knew things they should know, tried to break him with the usual forms of interrogation. I'm cleaning this up for your sensitive ears. You mean they tortured him? They put him through hell, but he didn't crack. So they introduced this drug into his system. One drop a day for 30 days. Every day, a little more of his brain was eaten away. The cumulative effects were devastating. He was driven hideously insane. That's hard. Did he ever get better? Oh, there's nothing that could be done, you see. The drug couldn't be detected, and the effects were so gradual. He wasn't even aware of it until it was too late. Really? I didn't know they made a drug like that. I think there's a chemical for everything. Hmm. Well, let's not talk about this anymore. No. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought it up. Dinah, I want to apologize for my behavior. I'm sorry that I got so upset. Forget it. I was just worried about you. Oh, it's unforgivable, but at least maybe you can understand where I'm coming from and 
you know, just the kind of stuff that's going on inside. Oh, yeah, of course I do. You know, you know what I want more than anything? I want to spend a quiet evening at home. Maybe have a glass of wine with my lovely bride. Well, I think that could be arranged. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. sounds like the best idea I've heard all day. I'll go get one of our, uh, a bottle of our best. Okay, honey. Matt, you know how Dinah is, huh? She's stubborn, am I right? Have you ever tried to change your mind about anything before? Yeah, it's like trying to move a cement wall. Okay, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I tried to, to change her mind about what she's doing to Roger, right? She wouldn't listen. So why don't you blow this whole thing out of the water? Why don't you end it? You don't even know what it is. I don't have to know what it is to see that you obviously don't care about it, so why let her go through with it? Because my father's gonna get exactly what is coming to him. Yeah, well, letting Dinah do it is not the way. Get her away from him. Get her away from him as fast as you can. It's not that simple. Why not? Look, at first I thought it was a game. I thought it was something silly, something stupid, okay? But it's not that. It's about Dinah getting back what is hers, her life. Now, Roger hurt her so badly, it's gonna be impossible for her to walk away. It's not an option. There has to be an option. Also, I hurt her. I used her, okay? The least I can do is to help see this through, and I will. Okay, if this whole thing's that important to you, let me help. Feeling lucky, Professor? I hear you want to draw down on me. Go ahead, make my day. This is the end of the trail, Professor. Your days of riding roughshod over people are over. It's time for you to bite the dust. Bite it hard. Even though you're a low-down, sidewinded, scum-sucking, cold-blooded rattler, I'm gonna give you the chance to draw first. On three. Ready? One. I know I said three. I lied.
how you open up. Well, I cried and I'll probably cry some more, but I have my life and I'm going to live it my way. How long is this book before it's supposed to be? I don't know. Two paragraphs, maybe? No, no, no. Two paragraphs. That, that's not a report. That's a review, my darling. I think it's got to be a bit longer. I'm thinking maybe ten pages. No! No! Twenty pages? No! It will really gonna... impress your teacher. How would that be? Right, no. Mom? Uh, excuse me? Book report. Make it maybe oh, 20 pages long. You think that's, that's a right. good thing? That's right. <laughs> you okay? Oh, I, I just have one of those headaches, you know. That's all. Another bad one, huh? No, it'll go away. Let me, uh, let me get you some aspirin. No, don't bother. I have something from the hospital. Okay, I'll get you a glass of water. Thanks. There's just a lot of cool stuff in the attic. <laughs> Yeah, mostly books, you know. Old poems your daddy read me one. It was very old and very beautiful. Ooh, mm. way romantic. <laughs> you gotta put this over there. Thank you. That's water. Thanks. You see a little cool uh, thing for your head there. Yeah. Here, you wanna there you go. <laughs> now, my little one. I know, Guess I know. What? Get ready for bed. That's good. Kiss oh, her. Good night, honey. I'll be up in a little bit. Just scoot down a little bit. We take care of it. Have that. Just good. Let me ride shotgun on this plan, whatever it is. Matt, you don't want any part of this plan. Obviously, I do, or I wouldn't have said that. You could use me, Hart. Another set of eyes. That's ears. not going to work, Matt. Why not? Because I already promised Dinah that I wouldn't go behind her back and get someone else involved, okay? Now, I know exactly what she's going to do if I ask her this. She's going to get mad. She's going to say no. Okay. All right, I'll tell you what. I hope you know what you're doing. Because if anything happens to Dinah, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. I swear to you, I swear that I would protect her with my life. Here we go. Vert extraordinaire. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Merci à mille fois. Mon plaisir. I'll just go get the pâté, and I'll be right back. Everything working out for both.